Yes, here we go. <sighs> Who's that? It's only me, Susie. Oh, my God, Mason. For a minute, I thought that... <laughs> you thought what? Well, I thought you were a robber or something. <sighs> a robber? The robber has been and gone, not into our house. Today. What do you mean? Hello, Susie. Hello, Aaron. I wish you had let me know about this. I mean, look at the condition uh, of this place. Please, don't trouble yourself on my account. No. Well, when my mother left, we made this place our headquarters, hence all the mess. Please excuse it. What's that? No. Oh, I really shouldn't tell you. You'd become an accessory. Come on, you get some rest. I'll show you to your room, okay? Go ahead up there. I'll bring you your things. Here. Is this your bedroom? Mason Palace. <laughs> I'll be downstairs. You get some rest. Get some sleep, okay? Hey, Mason. Hmm? Thank you for everything. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> now get some rest. What's up? Why won't you speak? What's going on? She'll be staying here with us for a few days. A few days? She has a huge suitcase. Shh, my goodness. Does your mother know that you're bringing girls home? Shh. She's going to hear. Well, then spill it. Tell me everything. Well, you know she called me over in a hurry last night. Uh-huh. Because there was a burglar in the house. Uh, a burglar? She was very scared, so I told her to come and stay here for a few days, and she said okay. Oh, the poor thing. She was so scared. Oh, my God. Didn't she have anywhere else to go? Why are you acting so crazy? Why don't you go and make some tea instead? I didn't get to sleep a wink all night long. Come on now, make me a cup of tea and don't worry your pretty little head with all of this, please, okay? <sighs> Mason, come here, the kid is there. Thanks. Is my father not up yet? No, he's not up yet, how come? I wanna tell you something. Something bad? No, nothing bad. Well, tell me then. The shop. <clears throat> do... Do you know who came to the store yesterday? Michael Sarman. Who is that? You know, the kid who was kidnapped? Well, his uncle. Really? Well, what did he want? He told my father he would pay him to tell him where the boy was. 500 grand. What did your father say? Well, what could he say? He just threw him out. <sighs> all that money, Mom. With that money, we'd be saved. We'd pay off all our debts and still have money left. What debts? <sighs> I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to get upset. I borrowed some money. My father said he'd have money in a few weeks. I thought I'd pay it off. But look, he's not saying a word about money. There would be beating down our door in a month. If dad said yes to that guy, you saw it, mom. How the mother was begging for your help. You'd be doing a good deed, mother. He would punish me if I told him anything. But if you told him. Hello, Mr. Gerald. Hello, do you know where Layla might have gone? 
No, sir. Is she not at home? Well, would I be asking you if she was? She left the house yesterday, and we have no idea. Yesterday? Yeah. Can you come over? We need to talk. Okay, I'll see you there at the house. What happened, Mason? Layla's gone missing. What? What do you mean, missing? I don't know. She's missing. And does she have any family? She may be visiting them. She wouldn't be visiting with her family now. What will you do? Was that her husband on the phone? What does he want? I'm off. You keep your eyes open. Mason, could you wait? I'll grab my bag and then I'll join you. Okay, hurry up. <laughs> 